I am officially in the Yellowstone Caldera. <laughs> uh, oh shoot, I just missed a sign. Gotta pay more attention. I have 47 miles to get to the west entrance of Yellowstone, which is where I'm camping tonight. And I have all day to get there. I'm so excited. The plan for today is the south gate to the west gate, which includes the, the, the uh, geyser basin, <laughs> the geyser basin. Because of how close this bison is to all of us, we are um, slightly stuck on this boardwalk. But it's a great place to be stuck. We have views of everything. While we were stuck on the boardwalk, Beehive Geyser went off. It was spectacular. A ranger told us it was the highest, or is the highest geyser, in the basin. It also only goes off once a day, so I felt very lucky to see it. I totally get why people fall into the geysers. It's so hard not to touch them. I don't know why I have self-control, but I want to dive in. So all these people are um, taking photos with the bison, even though it says everywhere, please don't do that. And I think it's funny. Is that mean? Okay, I've got my camera set up right here because of two reasons. One, there's another bison in the road and I'm not interested in trying to pass it. It's definitely not two school buses away from me and I just, mm, I don't feel that lucky today. Um, so I took a step back and realized that there's a geyser right in front of me that is about to go off and it's gigantic. I know it's not the biggest one in the park, that was Bumblebee or Beehive, and I already saw that one, but this one is supposed to be epic. Okay, so that giant geyser over there that I was trying to get pictures of um, because the buffalo was in the path, apparently it's not a bubbling one. Somebody was telling me that uh, it's a really big one, and I think it's the biggest one in the park, and then Beehive is the tallest one in the park, but um, it's not predictable, and I, don't want to wait for it. The Old Faithful Hotel or Lodge is the largest log cabin in the entire world. I didn't realize what that meant until I walked into the main hall. It doesn't even feel like it should exist. I have no idea how it's being held up, but it looks like a Lincoln Log creation 
I, I don't even know. I, I'm lost for words. It is just so absolutely stunning. Well worth the trip. Plus, they have huckleberry ice cream. Can't pass up huckleberry ice cream. The Prismatic Spring was next on my list, and probably what I was most excited about seeing. I've been dreaming about this since I was at least eight years old, and my father explained to me why it was so colorful. It seemed magical to me. I think it's the first time that I realized that nature is magic. The only way to see the incredible colors of this spring is to hike up to the overlook using the Fairy Falls Trail. This is what the Grand Prismatic Spring looks like from ground level, so we're going to go up. Look at these colors! They're just unreal. I can't believe that they're real. I am taking a little scenic route or scenic drive on um, something called Firebolt Lake Drive. And you don't get out of the car, according to the ranger. You just, you just drive in a circle. And it's supposed to be pretty neat. Oh, there's, there's people that got out of their car. Oh, there's little hot springs. Oh, how cool. Right on the side of the road. I got to that white dome of um, hot springs. No, geyser. Whew. I got to that white dome geyser and it's, I mean, it's huge, and you get to walk almost right up to it, and it was totally fantastic. And this lady said, oh, it's supposed to go off any minute, but we've been sitting here for 10 minutes, and so I'm just going to go. And I said, okay. And she goes, if I walk away, it'll go off. I'm like, all right. And so she walked away, <laughs> and it went off. Oh, it was so great. And she started honking her horn. It's going, it's going. <laughs> it wasn't very high or spectacular, but it was fun. It's fun. Apple phone cannot possibly be picking this up, but there are these two huge bison fighting out in the middle of this meadow. Oh my god, they're so <gasps> they're so powerful. I mean if if a human was to get involved in that, they wouldn't how could they survive? Oh my lord. This is about as close as I'm comfortable with getting to these uh, beautiful animals. Every time something happens on this trip where I think, son of a gun, like a buffalo gets in the way or there's traffic or something, it, it turns into the most incredible moment. I just took this detour, which the ranger told me to take because she said it would be a very nice drive. And it is bypassing this insane traffic jam by two miles plus I I mean like it's just stunning I'm in a canyon and it's absolutely stunning I am not gonna get out of my car because this river looks like something bears would be really excited to be at this is absolutely the perfect ending to an amazing day